This video is going to address the topic of measures of center, specifically median. Let's go ahead and get our page set up. We need a horizontal line about four spaces down from the top. We also need a vertical line that's about five to six spaces in from the left. Once we have that set up, we're going to make sure we have our header in the top right hand corner, which has the date and our topic. The topic is measures of center and specifically median. Our essential question today, or what it is that we are trying to learn or get out of the lesson, is what is the median and how do we calculate it? So let's go ahead and put that at the top as well. The median is a measure of center. It's one way to think about an average. There are two other types of measures of center the mean and the mode. In this video, we're just going to talk about median. The median is a number that marks the middle of an ordered set of data. You know that line that goes down the middle of a road or street? That's called the median. That's the middle of the road, just like the median is the middle of an ordered set of data. Let's take a look at a set of data and find the median for that data. This time, let's look at a survey asking how many cousins students had in class. I'm going to go ahead and record some values that represent the number of cousins. The first thing we should notice is that these numbers are not in order. That's going to be a problem, because remember the median marks the middle of an ordered set of data. It needs to be either from least to greatest or greatest to least. I'm going to rewrite these numbers in order. With my numbers in order, it's much easier to see the number that happens to lay in the middle. It's 4. Right? There's a 2 and 8 on the highest and lowest ends, then 3 and 5 are on the highest and lowest ends, leaving 4 smack dab in the middle. 4 is our median. The median of 4 means that half of the students have either 4 or more cousins, and half of the students have 4 or fewer cousins. This data set was fairly straightforward because this was an odd number of pieces of data. What if we ask an even number of people the same question? Once again, my first step is to make sure that my data is placed in order from least to greatest. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite these in order. With my numbers in order, I can look to find the middle of the data set. I'm going to mark off the edges, the lower and upper ends, until I find the one in the middle. However, because I've had an even number of data points, when I get to the middle, I find out there are still two left. The median, then, is going to be what is halfway between my remaining two numbers. Halfway between 4 and 6 is, of course, 5. My median, in this case, is 5, meaning that half of the students have 5 or more cousins, and half of the students I surveyed have 5 or fewer cousins. I have listed two sets of data for which I'd like you to find the median. The first one asks you to find the median number of ice cream cones sold daily. The second one asks you to find the median test score. Take a moment, pause the video, and find your median. Remember to make sure that your data is order in order before you begin. How'd you do? Hopefully by now we've answered the essential question of what is the median and how we calculate the median. 
As always, if you have any questions, make sure that you record any questions on the left-hand side. And if you missed anything or you want to rehear it, feel free to stop the video, rewind, and re-listen.